Okay, we're in Microsoft Word and we're going to look at some tips and tricks for moving or rearranging pages within your document. I'm going to look at two methods. First method is inferior, but it may be the method that works for your document. The second method I would hang on for in this video because it's a much more efficient way of being able to rearrange pages in your document. Both methods, you definitely want to view the navigation pane. So if you go to the View tab up here and click on the navigation pane, and for the first method, I'd go to the Pages tab here. It is unfortunate that you can't drag and drop pages using this navigation pane. You can do something very similar once you've got headings, but we're going to accept that there maybe are not headings in your document. Now, if that's the case, if you don't have proper heading styles in your document, you're going to have to use the clipboard. And one little trick here is if you go to Home and click on this little Launcher button here, that opens up the clipboard for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put each of these pages on the clipboard. We'll start with page one, click at the top of page one, and then use the shortcut key, Control Shift down arrow key. That will select down to the last paragraph each time you press the down arrow key. Then we're going to copy Control C, and it puts that paragraph on the clipboard. Then you need to go to page two by clicking on page two over here. Do the same, control shift down arrow key, control C, places it on the clipboard, and then you're going to do the same for the other pages. And then the last page onto the clipboard. Then what you're going to have to do is probably create a new document, so control N, and then you can paste in these pages in the order that you want them by just clicking on the clipboard item as it appears in this list. Okay, so that's method one. Now I'm gonna move over to the headings tab. I'll also close down the clipboard. And you can see here that it's showing all the headings in my document. Now this provides a great way of rearranging pages because you can literally drag and drop the pages around your document. You can see that that changes the order within the document itself. Now to get this set up, you need to apply heading styles in your document, and that's really easy to do. For example, at the top of my document at the moment, I've got this heading using video effectively, and I'm on the home tab of the ribbon, and in the styles group, you can see I've got some heading styles, heading one, heading two, heading three. So these are like main headings, subheadings, and sub-subheadings. So a main heading appears without an indent in this navigation pane. If I scroll down and find a subheading, such as applying styles, you can see that's got a heading two applied to it, and that appears indented under heading one. And for example, if I clicked on collapse headings there, it would jump to it. If I made that a heading three, it will be indented beneath that heading two. So all you need to do is go to your headings, hopefully you've got some headings in your document, and apply one of these heading styles. By default, text will have the normal style applied to it. And it may look like a heading because you've applied some formatting to it locally, but it doesn't mean it will have a heading style applied to it. So go up to one of these heading styles, apply the heading, and then you'll see the heading appear in this navigation pane. And then once you've got the headings, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping the heading to a new location within the document, and it will move all associated text, including the headings, to its new location. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.